Ladies and gentlemen, today it is my special treat to sit here and chat and interview Scott Smolarek. He is a trader who just got funded. So welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, Matt. Yeah. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do for a living? Where are you in the world? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I live outside Buffalo, New York. Actually, I'm a full-time dentist, and um, I started picking up trading about five, six years ago for my father-in-law, uh, just as for fun. That's sure. it. Just to start learning something new. Sure. That's where it started. Gotcha. So you're outside. You're in New York. You're a dentist. Tell us a little bit about like. Um, the strategies that you used here to get funded. I know you, we talked before and you trade mostly Forex, but tell yeah. us a little bit more about the specifics of the strategy that you use to get funded. I typically like using like either like a bull flag uh, where I tend to be like more of a trend pullback trader sure. where I don't want to buy too high. Um, I wait for it to kind of come back down. And then um, I just start looking for... Um, Either like either like a condensing triangle, some sort of pattern that I can recognize, double bottom, something like that, and then um, kind of a jump on it when it's at a lower price and try to ride it back to the top. So is it mostly long, short, or both? It sounds like both. both. Okay, got it. Yeah, awesome. Both. And uh, do you have any specific pair that you like to trade in forex? No, I I have about twenty six pairs, and they're the most popular ones. Um, you know, I, I, I tried with the smaller ones, but it's just too tough with those bid asks like that to try to get out when you want to, especially, um, trying to do smaller time frames. So it's, I need it a little closer to the belt. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it sounds like it's really, you're trading kind of the major pairs and yeah. you're trading more of a, like a buy the dip type strategy, you know, yeah. nothing overly complex, just fairly, no. fairly straightforward. No. Yeah. Awesome. No, nothing. And I mean, I can, and to give you guys a plug, I mean, you kind of, I, I worked with some of your, the, I went through a couple of the mentors. I went with um, a couple of the group sessions sure. uh, that kind of fine tuned it towards the end, which really was, uh, I can thank you guys for that. Cause that really uh, sure. kind of pointed Game out some changer. things that I was missing that it yeah. was, that really kind of, help my my strategy out gotcha any uh, any favorite names you want to throw out mentor group wise they're they're they were they're all good they're all they were all great they really were i got you yeah okay cool tell me uh tell us a little bit about uh you mentioned uh pre previously that it took a few attempts oh yeah to get funded tell us a little bit about that and what would you say to someone who's maybe in a similar position who hasn't yet got funded yeah so uh yeah, I, I blew up quite a few in the beginning. Um, and mostly one was just learning, first of all, the platform. Um, uh, I mostly trade like a mirror trade. So it's kind of a, it was just different feel for it to kind of get the sure. orders in. Sure. Um, then I was making a lot of little mistakes. Like um, I was trading two small time frames where um, the bid ass were really uh, going against me. I wasn't making as much profit as I wanted on each trade. Sure. And then... Once I kind of figured that out, then I had to kind of break my habit of holding on to it too long. I wasn't listening to my stops. So that was kind of putting me up against the wall a few times. Um, try to beat that. Uh, and then also was the time of day. Uh, you know, working throughout the whole day, it, it's not really feasible to trade. So I was trading at like bad hours when the market really wasn't moving like I would want it to. Yeah. And, Right. And then by the time it opened a few hours later, it was you're kind of up to its mercy. So then I started figuring out better time frames that would work for me uh, that I could trade and it wouldn't interfere with like work or my life. Gotcha. Like that. So you first figured out what not to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. I, I had an idea what I wanted. The strategy I was, you know, going into it, I was kind of confident. It was just learning the system, the, actually the platform and then mentally getting through my hurdles. Uh, and then once once I kind of figured out a time frame of the day that I like to trade, that's when things started clicking. So it took, yeah, not to have anyone get discouraged, it took a few times. Like it, it's it's totally possible beating it. It's sure. just, uh, yeah, just trying to be finding yourself and just being comfortable with it and 
Right. And the more you do it, the more confident. Every day I'd get in, I kind of knew what I was looking for, and I knew how much time I could spend in it. Sure. And uh, yeah, and I and like, like I said, I did it just doing it part time. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned previously that uh, you had a, you kind of struggled a little bit, not just with the time, but trying to do it in between seeing patients where you couldn't really focus well, and you're slightly distracted. And yeah, you know, it was kind of like, like, you know, like my, my issue was that like we'd break for lunch and I'd be looking at my computer at noon and you know, nothing's really moving and I would force a play. And then next thing you know, like I'm, you know, driving home at five or so and I'm watching it past my stop loss and just, you know, making, making just errors like that. It was just, you know, just stuff that I needed to clean up. You know, sure. I was, I think I was trying to beat the account too quick instead of just letting it just take my time and just do it. And once, once I managed, once you got, once I managed that out, it was easier. Good. So it's kind of slow and steady, right? Not, yeah. You don't yeah. have to have some huge home run, just a bunch of small base hits. And, and, the and that's the one thing out. I personally found with it. I thought it's it's very difficult to try to get that home run against this. Um, I mean, I guess it's possible. Sure. But I think the way that it's set up, it's easier to do it uh, incrementally mm -hmm. than to, uh, you know, unless, I mean, some. I guess everyone trades differently. I guess, you know, some guys want, you know, the big one and they go, but... I think that it's, uh, I was more or less trying to do it, um, you know, just fight another day, just take my profit, get out, take my profit. Get out. I wasn't letting a lot of these run at all. Sure. Um, I was kind of just like rinse and repeat kind of sure. system. Gotcha. And so what can you share? What was your favorite time of day or days of the week? The trade did you uh, well, narrow down? Well, you know, yeah, typically I'm off on Friday, so Thursday nights are my, my favorite because um, yeah. I can spend, I can save some time up. So after, sure. uh, you know, everyone went to went to bed, I kind of was able to start trading probably around nine, and I try to sometimes go like to one or two. That's like and Eastern I, I tend to get friend. Eastern? Eastern. Eastern. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Eastern. So, so like, and then during the week, that wasn't possible, and then I noticed yeah. uh, sometimes... Well, it, obviously weekends, no, but then I notice that when the market opens around 7, 10, I notice you start getting a little bit of movement. So I try to see what was happening during those like three, four o'clock window and sure. seeing if I could catch something that was about to go. Gotcha. And then, so cool. I would try to, I would spend a little time looking at that, but I wouldn't make it my, my whole night. I would just sit there for maybe an hour or so and just see if, uh, I could find it, and if not, then we'll try again next day. Sure. And did you use the uh, MetaTrader Five, like the downloadable version, or the Web Trader? Which one did you? Do you remember? I used. Um, I had the the Web Trader just just okay. on my yeah. I didn't download anything. I just went right to the got gotcha. the link and sure fired it up. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, that works. It's like the most streamlined way to start entering orders. Yeah. Oh, and, and it worked great. Quality. I had no issues. It was just. Like just in the beginning, the first, I guess my first one or two accounts, I, I just wasn't used to it. And I, but I also think I was going a little too fast where I was trying to beat it instead of just like taking it slow in the beginning. I think that'd be my first advice is just put in some small orders and just kind of get the feel for it instead of like kind of going, you know, moving like you, like whatever your normal lot would be yep. or something like that start slow yep. start slow yeah. yep is there any uh final advice that you would uh give to any of our listeners watching this yeah any... don't give up and the other thing is it's yeah. it's it's such a journey um and i'm constantly learning myself i'm not by any means anywhere near to be an expert or that uh, i would just want to i constantly study and i put in time every day a little bit to like sure. either practice or try to learn something new, you know, and it's like, even with you guys, I mean, it's like, I'm always looking at the website, seeing if there's something new coming up. Like I, I want to start dabbing in the futures, which sure. um, I really don't know much about, but I know that you offer it. So it's like, it might be a good spot there to start, uh, you know, sure. learning something there, but I would just say, just keep learning. Don't give up. And um, it's, it takes a lot, a lot of, just practice and and it it's I, I feel like it's not ever going to be given to you i feel that sure. it's 
Like sure. if you're waiting like to take a weekend course and someone hand it to you, it's not coming. And I feel that it's it's got to come from you and you got to keep working at it and right. just see what's what's comfortable for you. I just feel like yeah. so many other ways of training that you'll find your way that what you like. Right. And some would say it's it's really about time in the saddle, like yeah, like yeah. spending lots of time, you know, it's doing a lot it. of time. It's a yeah. lot of time and you got to you got to like it, you know, and love it. And once you absolutely kind of get the bug, it's it's fun. You know, and when it starts producing, it's like, OK, this is what all the work went into. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Scott, for your time here today. Congratulations on getting oh. funded Thanks, again. Man. He started out in the mentor group team. So. Hint, hint, start. Uh, you got to start somewhere. You build that foundation. Practice, make some mistakes, learn, practice, rinse, repeat. And Scott, you're an awesome example of the, oh. doing that exactly. So thanks again so much for your time. Oh, thanks again, Matt. Yep. Thanks. Bye.